Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play I Just Want a Little Bit, as recorded by Magic Sam on guitar. Now this is a 12 bar blues in the key of B flat. We're gonna be using just three main chords, but instead of playing the chords, we're gonna outline those chords with this really cool funky guitar part that follows those blues changes. I'm gonna break it all down for you note for note, so when you're done with this video, you'll be able to go and play right along with the real recording. But before we dive in, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away. I put together this awesome fretboard guide that's gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map out the entire fretboard. And I use this system when I'm playing anything on guitar, whether it's a bluesy line like this, or just strumming some chords, or taking a solo, I'm thinking about these shapes and how they come together. And I want to give you this PDF completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy. All right, well with that said, let's break down this tune. Let's break down how to play I Just Want a Little Bit as recorded by Magic Sam on guitar. Now we're going to start off with this main progression, our 12 bar blues. Here's what it sounds like. A one, two, three, four. So that's one time through there, and we have that break in the twelfth bar. So what we're playing is this kind of sliding guitar bass line part that takes the place of essentially our B flat seven or our one chord here. This is a blues in the key of B flat, so the one chord is gonna start right here. And if you just wanted to play a straight chord, you could play six, eight, six, seven, six, six. And that would just be like strumming that chord for four bars. But what the guitar does on the recording is, this cool line. So what I'm playing here, just one note at a time, starting on the sixth fret of the low E, then playing eight and sliding up to 10. Then go to the fifth string and play eight, then reach up to 11. So that's sort of the first part. And those are actually the notes. Right, sounds like Pretty Woman. <laughs> of a B flat seven. That's like very typical bass line. And then we're gonna walk down. That's 11, 10, eight. So one and two and three and four and so a little rest in there on beat three. One and two and three and four and. Now with the strum hand, I'm using a technique called palm muting. So I'm lightly muting the strings here, taking a little bit of ring out of the note instead of getting that palm mute sound. Now I am using all downs with the strum hand. You could alternate pick it if you want. I like the sound of it though. All downs. Either works, whichever is comfortable for you. So we're gonna do that for four bars. So that's gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's four times through the riff. Then we're gonna go like this for the next four bars. So what I'm playing here is the riff. Now, before it was starting on the note B flat, which is our one chord. Now we're gonna move to what's called the four chord. So we're just gonna drop it down one string. Here I'm starting on the sixth string. And then I'm gonna slide eight to 10, then eight on the fourth string, then up to 11 on the fourth string. Then walk down 11, 10, eight. Now here, we're gonna play this riff two times because our four chord is gonna last for two bars, so. 
we go back to the one chord, the first riff, two times. So it's two here and then two here. Here's what that sounds like. One, two, three, four. So, so far, that gives us the first eight bars. Let's put that together. One, two, three, and four, and. To the four chord. Back to one. All right, here we get to the last four bars of this blues we're gonna play. And then that's back to the top. So what I played here was the eighth fret now on the fifth string. So I'm shifting from that note up to here. Then we're gonna copy paste that same riff, but we're gonna be on different frets. So this is something that's very important in the blues. You wanna be able to work a riff through the blues changes. So this is eight, 10 to 12, then 10 now to 13 on the fourth string. So then walk down 13, 12, 10, ba da da, ba da da. So one time, then we drop everything down two frets, and then back home. Now this part has a few variations. Sometimes we just hit that note and break in the final bar, and sometimes we play through. So if we break, it would go. So that would be breaking in that 12th bar. If you don't break, it would go. And then that would be the top. So you'd start all over again. So let's put it all together. We're gonna play through this 12 bar blues one time through, not too fast. We're gonna go around one, and two, and three, and four, and get set, and I'll count you in. One, two, three, and four, and. to one. Five chord, four chord, one. Keep playing. Great job. Now when we end the tune, we do this thing called a tag. So right there where we finished off, we would go back to the F note, the eighth fret of the fifth string and play. Again, it's three tags. And then the last time, this is how it ends. Just right on the downbeat. Take your time with this one and make sure you've got all three of those riffs. I kind of think of this as three riffs. So you've got the one based off B flat, the one based off E flat, and the one based off F. And that's something we refer to as the one, four, and five. So practice it slowly and then try and put it all together. And to help you even more, you're gonna wanna grab my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five chords and scales that I use to map the entire fretboard. I wanna give it to you completely for free. It sounds like a lot of information, but it's actually just a one page PDF. I was able to take it all and just compress it down to one page to keep it super concise and get you some results results right away. So just go to johnmclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below to grab your copy. Next, I want to hear from you. Leave a comment down below and let me know your number one struggle with guitar right now and how I can help you here on the channel. Just comment it down below. As always, thanks for your support with the videos and we'll catch you in another one real soon. Mm -hmm.